Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kay and over here we do beauty related videos and if that sounds like something you're interested in, please be sure to subscribe. So today, as you can say by the title, we are doing a full face of Huda Beauty. So me personally, I have loved Huda Beauty for a while now, but this year I became a full blown stan. So I tried so many products that were just like, mmm, exquisite. So I decided to share a love letter to Huda Beauty by doing a full face of Huda Beauty and showing you guys, you know, my favourite products and how I use them. So if you want to see how I got this look, please keep on watching. Hello, walk, walk, walk. Who killing them in the UK? Everybody gonna say UK. So, so it's a primer. I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Jelly Primer. I actually haven't gotten much use out of this primer because I am in love with the Fenty Hydrating Primer and I keep using it. But I've heard a lot of good things about this primer and I did get it when it first came out. So I just want to fall in love with it, get to use it a bit more. And look how healthy and glowy my skin looks. So I'm just wondering which foundation to go for, whether I should go for the original for a filter or the stick foundation. The stick foundation is a bit less of a coverage. Whereas this is full, full coverage. I'm gonna go with full, full coverage. <laughs> so both of them I just got recently. So, you know. And I kind of prefer the way this matches me to the stick. But can you see that coverage? It's insane such a good match it's like a slightly warmer but like a nice warmth. and although this is a matte foundation it's like a healthy matte so you don't end up looking too dry or too cakey in my opinion anyway i could have just gone with a pump because i still have so much left on my hand so for concealer i'm gonna take the overachiever concealer of course and i'm gonna put this underneath my eyes so this is a very very full coverage concealer as well so you don't need too much I love full coverage anyway, so. So that is the amount I'm gonna use and I'm just gonna blend it out with my Real Technique sponge. And to set that in place, I'm gonna go in with the powder of my 2020. Like, I loved this powder. Um, ever since I got it, I haven't been able to put it down. Actually, I recently got the Laura Mercier and I've been using that quite a bit. But this is like my true love. So this is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in the shade Banana Bread. And I love it so, so much. And I'm just putting that on with a microfiber sponge. I'm still like getting the hang of using these microfiber sponges. I end up always putting like a little bit too much powder on them. <laughs> I adore this powder I love it so much but yeah usually I'll do this before I set my face but sometimes you just have to do what you have to do so I'm going in with the Tantor and I'm going in with the shade medium and I love this product for cream bronzing it's like it blends out like a dream surprising but not too surprising it still blends out well even though I have set my face well set my highlighted areas already Usually I like to do this before I step so it, nothing ends up looking patchy but it's still blending out really really well. I love that. So unfortunately Huda has not given us a powder yet but you know who has? Fenty has. So I'm going to go in with the Fenty powder foundation in the shade 410 and I'm going to use that to blend out. I'm going to use that to set the rest of my face I mean. I'm still seeing about this colour because it's a bit warm for my liking, but it doesn't look bad. I'm just, I've only tried it once and that was the day I did the review and this is going to be my second time trying it. But honestly it looks really good. So far my face is looking extremely flawless and I'm in love. So I'm just going to zoom my head and do bronzer and blush because Huda hasn't really given us a powder bronzer or a powder blush yet. So 
I'm going to have to use other brands and I'll be right back. So now that my eyes are prepped for eyeshadow, I'm going to pick out an eyeshadow palette to use. So I have four Obsessions palettes and I love each and every one individually. I love them so much. And for this look, I'm thinking I'm going to go with the Nude Rich palette. So this is what the inside of that palette looks like. You can see that it's very well loved, very well used. <laughs> so I'm going to go into this shade first. So what I'm doing is I'm first placing it in my crease and then I'm going to go on the outskirts and kind of blend it out really softly. So I don't want the colour to like go all the way up to my brows but I also don't want it to have a harsh edge. Focusing it on my crease and then just blending it out and yeah, that's what that looks like. Let me zoom you in. So you can really see what I'm doing. So the next colour I'm going to go into is this one right here. I'm going to place that on the outer edge. I'm just going to like kind of stamp that colour in then I'm just going to blend that out with the first shade I used just tapping softly on the edge and kind of diffuse it and blend them together yeah like that so now I'm just going to go in with my fingers and I'm going to first go into this brown shade brown shimmery shade here and then I'm going to go into this shade so I'm just using that brown shade to just blend the edge of that dark brown matte and then for the most part of my lid I'm going to go into that pink shade then I'm going to do a medley of those mattes on my lower lid lower lid? waterline so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my eyes with the Huda Beauty Liner. I love that this is double ended because you get the best of both worlds with just one product. I'm not going to lie though, this is not my favourite product from Huda Beauty but it does the job and it's like a really dark liner so there's that. But I think I just personally prefer a like felt tip liner to like a liquid liner. I'm just going to go into the other end of the liner and I'm going to use that in my waterline. And I don't go all the way in, I just go on the outer edge. So now for mascara and yes, I'm using the legit lashes and the mascara is amazing. Like this is like one of the best mascaras I've ever tried. Like it's so good. And I don't even have lashes. Let me zoom you in again. So yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So you can't really see them on the top lashes like that, but you can really see the work on the bottom lashes. Look at that. Nothing and bazinga. So now that lashes are on, we can just complete the face. Sadly, I don't have any of their setting sprays. They do have setting sprays and I really like both of them, but I don't have any. So I'm just gonna use what I have. So recently I have been convinced by my friend Jules to get the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Finishing Setting Spray and I got it during Black Friday. I got the mini size and actually, I love it. 
like it doesn't give me the glowy dewy thing that I love no it doesn't do that it just kind of sets your makeup in place and like it kind of makes your makeup a little bit mask proof so I love it for those reasons but I still use my super dewy by revolution because I, I need a bit of glow I'm just gonna start off with this and then I'm just gonna do like maybe a few shots of this I also do not have any highlighters or lip liners or lip glosses from them but I do have a lipstick so stay tuned for the lip combo I'm kind of over buying highlighter but if Huda did come out with like a single highlighter or a range of single highlighters I might be willing to try so to highlight the face let's go in with the Revolution Pro rose gold highlighter I love this highlighter but mine is like crumbled to pieces I definitely need to get a new one but I mean this one works I just can't really show you guys oh a mess and it kind of just goes with this look yeah this highlighter is beautiful oh my gosh so I'm gonna line my lips with my Vive by Jamie Genevieve here on YouTube. I have mine in the shade Tailored, which is the darkest one they have. Where's my sharpener? Where's my sharpener? This shade is very reminiscent to Chestnut by MAC. Very nice and creamy. So this shade is Jules, my friend's favourite, and I wanted to get board meeting but I accidentally picked this up, but oh well, here goes. <laughs> this is my first time trying a Huda Beauty bullet lipstick. And I can see why everybody loves them. It has a nice big wind to it and this is actually a cute colour. But I think I'm still a MAC girl when it comes to bullet lipsticks. MAC just gives me everything. <laughs> when it comes to bullet lipsticks, MAC just do, they do it all. And they do it well. This kind of tugs a little bit, the lipstick I mean. So I'm going to use the Lime Crime Wet Cherry Lip Gloss in the shade Bitter Cherry just to gloss this up because you know I guess to gloss it up. I kind of wrote off Lime Crime for not being juicy enough but I'm giving them a second chance and they actually are performing. So yeah, that is the finished look. So I'm just gonna do my hair, judge my face up a little bit and come right back. So yeah, I knew, I knew that I loved Huda Beauty, but doing a full face of like almost all Huda Beauty products, I have re-fallen in love with Huda Beauty because this is beautiful, oh my God. And I haven't used like much of my other faves in this. I really, really like it. Huda Beauty is like doing the damn thing. I knew that anyway, but like now I know that. I categorically know. It's stunning. So yeah, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please be sure to share it with your community. And I would love to see you in the next one.